Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're looking at Jesus being the Son of God. If you'd like to go to Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. He says, But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And verse 21, And she shall bring forth a son, thou shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So the angel here comes to Joseph and tells him that a son is going to be born, and this is the Son of God. Not born by man's ability, but by God. Now Muslims believe, or get the wrong impression, that we're saying something blasphemy, that God has a son like a man would have a son, but we're, saying, we're not saying that. We're saying that the virgin birth of Jesus was supernatural by the power of God. But notice here, it says, And he shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And that is the difference between the, the Muslim understanding of Jesus and the Christian. The, the Christian sees Jesus as the true Son of God, who is perfect, holy, and pure. The divine Son of God, who is to be a saviour for our sin. The Muslim just sees Jesus as a prophet. But if we go to Luke chapter 1, 31, Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke 1, 31, And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, shall call his name Jesus, he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. So here, in the word of God, it calls Jesus the Son of the Most Highest. And what God gives the title, you better not take it away. He is the Son of God. God himself says it. And you need to bow the knee to Jesus. God bless you and have a lovely day.